Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lion's Den Show. And here's your host, Cody Robert Judy. Hello and welcome to the Lion's Den Show. I'm your host and your toast, Cody Robert Judy. It's good to be with you. I have an announcement to make that is somewhat troubling detailing corruption of law and specifically your right to a jury trial which has been suspended by the courts here in Utah. The year is 2010, November 23rd at approximately 2.30 p.m. I was in an order to show cause hearing when I was informed by Commissioner Gardner of the 2nd Dis Judicial District Court that my demand for a jury trial was denied. In fact, Commissioner Gardner said, and I'll quote him, we don't do jury trials on divorce cases. We don't want juries picking favorites. What? You mean rather than the judges picking favorites? And tell me, who has the bigger chance of showing favoritism? One judge or a panel of 12 jurists? And who does he mean by we? Because I don't think he's talking about we, the people. So who is we? We judges in the second district court? I do believe the we there is the same court that kicked me out of my house in 30 days and decided I should live in a utility trailer with no running water or toilet facilities for that 30 days. I was allowed in my house in the basement to use the shower facilities and the toilet from 7 to 8 a.m. Otherwise, I was on the public's good graces. And then Commissioner Garner went on to say, You show me cases! You show me law! I began to try to explain that I felt like the jury trial was necessary on the property issue of my house and the damages of personal property in an unnecessary move of that property by my wife from inside the house to the garage where I calculated about $13,000 in damages from improper storage and packing. She deferred to her attorney, Roy D. Cole, in the divorce case as to ordering her to move it. And she'd done nothing but what her attorney told her to do. Here's the email for that. Had done nothing. And then I got an email from Roy D. Cole stating that was correct. He had, in fact, told her to do it. Right there. Now Roy D. Cole is a piece of lard with a snake's fork tongue, who I have caught lying to the court several times blatantly but who continually receives the favor of the court. In fact, interestingly enough, Roy D. Cole advertises with a list of recommendations or references on his resume. And guess who appears there? My own Judicial District Court judge in this case, Judge Lyon. How does that fit your fancy? I got a prosecuting attorney who's lying and a judge named Judge Lyon. Anyway, back to the jury demand all the necessary requirements of my jury demand had been fulfilled. Here's the paper. And this represents I have filed representing and defending myself. This is this is what her attorney has filed right here. And this is what I have filed right here. As you can see, that is one heck of a stack of papers. Now, that's the divorce case since July 16th until the present. This represents what her attorneys filed and it represents what I've filed in representing and defending myself, my child custody right as a parent, and my property. Well, the supreme law of the land, as noted, is called the United States Constitution. From there we see Amendment 7, which says, In suits at common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved. 
and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of common law. A divorce is a suit at common law. Read the summons, which says, read these papers carefully. These papers mean that you are being sued. Also in Amendment 5, we see that no person shall be deprived of life liberty or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. In other words, the government, herein noted as the judicial branch, shall not take property nor give my property away to someone else without just compensation. But it's happening right here in Ogden, Utah, USA. Now, in the Utah Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 38, Jury Trial of the Right, it reads, Right preserved the right of trial by jury as declared by the Constitution or as given by statute shall be preserved to the parties. Any party may demand a trial by jury of any issue triable of a right by a jury. Specifications issues. In his demand, party may specify the issues which he wishes so tried. Otherwise, he shall be deemed to have demanded trial by jury for all the issues so triable. Now, a demand for jury or a trial by jury made as herein provided, which I did make, may not be withdrawn without the consent of the parties. Now, Utah has a whole case of laws that demand protection of property. In fact, the Utah Constitution Article 1 subsection 14 provides greater protection to the privacy of the home than does the Fourth Amendment and the Utah Property Protection Act of 2000 forbids forfeiture against innocent owners. Certainly a big point here is that divorce is indeed probably the biggest venue of forfeiture of assets in common law suits and none of these laws seem applicable to the court, which is the biggest fear one has of the government. Our founding fathers declared the beginning of democracy was in respect to a protection of property, and all liquid assets I have put into my property are indeed being subject to forfeiture by the court, not by a jury trial. A fascinating development of revolutionary thinking expanded the notion of property by enlightened philosophers as John Locke, Adam Smith, and even David Hume. The founders believed the defense of private property was the foundation of liberty. Government is instituted to protect property of every sort, as well that which lies in the various rights of individuals as that which the term expresses. This being the end of government that alone is just government which impartially secures to every man whatever is his own, coming from the papers of none other than James Madison, 29th of March, 1792, 14 semicolon 266-68. Now the biggest reason you would want a jury trial in such is you would be able to speak to normal people that have mortgages themselves, who would put themselves in your position and simply debate that issue. The prejudices that this second district court in Ogden, Utah have displayed are well documented in a total disregard of my check stubs for mortgage payments and my affidavits of improvement to that property over the last three years. They literally kicked me out of my property with no notice of delinquent payments or any cause by the loan holders or any record of domestic disturbances. It was simply an assertion by my spouse. That's it. So I make the following declaration to anyone who may be having a divorce filed on them. Prepare. Prepare yourself because jury demand in the Constitution has been burned and shall I say by those who call themselves we and whom I call them. Those in the black robes. This represents the phrase of those that are to defend the law have drawn near to the law with their lips, but their hearts are far from it.